vision. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how vision can make scoring points a lot easier. Hey guys, welcome back to the Better Beach YouTube channel. In today's video, I break down some fun drills that you can do to help you with vision on the court. Vision is one of the practices that I think a lot of us forget about practicing. Before we get going, if you wouldn't mind, please give us a little subscribe. If you're not already following us, give us a like and share it with all your friends. We love it when you do that and enjoy the video. Whenever we're thinking about vision, the first thing is, this is why we've been focusing so much on the distance from the net, right? So when I'm, a, when I'm on the other side of the court and I pass this ball, if I can maintain this space, then that set is going to be in front of me, which now I can see this ball and I can see the other side of the net, all right? If I get too far underneath this set, now I'm gonna be looking way back here and I can't see any of you guys. Whenever we're thinking about vision, there's two opportunities for you to actually look on the other side of the net. After I pass, I've already done a quick analyzation of the other side, realizing that Logan might be blocking line and Evan might be digging cross. The reason I say might is because there's still a chance that they could move. But I have to find this first image of him because now, whether once I see him, I already have him built into my mind, okay? So now it's gonna be easier for me to pick, on, pick up on him later in the point. Okay, so once I make this pass, I would do my same approach out, I find my same timing step on my first step, I go with my left step, and then as I'm jumping to go find this ball, this is when I peek over again and see if Evan has moved or if Logan is doing something funky at the net to try to block me. Okay, it's not going to be where I am actually looking right at Evan. If I make eye contact with Evan and we have a connection, yeah, <laughs> I'll hit you up later. But if we, have that, if we have that eye contact and it feels longer than it should be, then you are probably looking at that defender way too long and way too much. It's more gonna be the peripherals of what you're seeing him doing, okay? So you're not gonna be able to read his shirt, you're gonna be able to see him moving. Once again, once I'm coming to the net, I make my pass, I see my first vision, I see that he's cross court, right, left. As I'm going up to find this ball, I see if he runs to the line. Oh, there he goes, and now I can make the shot to avoid him. The one thing that I will say is, if we can err on not actually seeing them, but trying to just see their bodies move, then that's gonna be way easier. Once I see that vision, then I hear my call and hopefully it confirms what I'm seeing. A couple times this week, I've already heard some people say, hey, give me a call. And that, that's kind of a tough situation to be in because that means you're not relying on your vision at all. So trying to find this opportunity to see the other side of the court is very important. And it's going to be that little glance. And then once you think you see something, then just trust it. Go with that true arm swing. If we're questioning the whole time, then that's when things get a little choppy. If you don't have a chance to look, don't force it, okay? All those fundamentals, that high contact, the good arm swing, those are going to take priority, okay? So the drills that we're gonna go through, the first one is just gonna be a vision pepper. So the drill is gonna start with one person having the ball. He is going to pass it to himself, set it to himself. After the set, JM is either gonna have his hands down or up. And it's Evan's job to see where his hands are, whether they're down or up, and then attack where his arms are, okay? So let's see what it looks like. Pass, set, down, pass, set, up. Good, pass, Set, down, pass, set, up. Okay, hold the ball. For this next time when you guys are watching, I want you to pay close attention to their heads, okay? At no point are you gonna see them actually set this ball up and go, 
and then try to find that ball again. Most of them are just doing a quick little glance and then allowing that swing to happen. So let's watch one more time. Pass, set, very quick glance, and then going. Good, nice job. Try not to watch the ball, watch their head dip. And if they're wearing sunglasses, sometimes it might not even look like they're looking at all. Good. The next drill we're gonna make a little bit more live. We're gonna have a, a box on this side of the court and my defender is going to start inside this box, okay? So I'm gonna to toss this ball to JM, and then I'm gonna get into the box, and after Evan sets, I'm either gonna to jump to the left or I'm gonna to jump to the right, and it's JM's job to find me. So I'm gonna to toss, a pass, a set, and then he finds me with that ball. Very simple drill, but it just confirms that vision. So let's see if Evan can do it. Pass, set, and then a hit. The next drill is shoot two, shoot away. Okay, so the first ball is gonna come at me. I'm gonna dig it, Allie's gonna set me, I'm gonna give it back to them. Then I'm gonna get back in this box. Same thing, I'm gonna get out of the box, but then the person is gonna hit the ball away from me. So this is what it should look like. A pass, a set, he's gonna find me, whoa! And then I'm free balling. And I'm getting back in the box, and then Evan should hit away from me. Oh my gosh, he scored. All righty. I know you guys enjoyed that video, and I know that you're going to be seeing the court clearer and scoring more points. And if you're interested in coming and training with us in St. Pete or at one of our other camps, click the link below to join our newsletter so you can get updated on all of these upcoming camps.